বিদ্যার্থীর অনুষ্ঠান মরমর ছাত্রছাত্রীসল তোমালক আটাইকে প্রীতি আর শুভেচ্ছা জানাই আজির অনুষ্ঠান মুকলি করছো আজি নবম শ্রেণীর ছাত্রছাত্রীসলের ইংরাজি ব্যাকরণের পাঠ আছে ছাত্রছাত্রীসল আজি তোমালক টেন্সর বিষয়ে কবল লোহা তোমালকর পাঠ যুগুতায় আগবাইছে তারিণী চৌধুরী সরকারি উচ্চতর মাধ্যমিক বহুমুখী বালিকা বিদ্যালয়ের শিক্ষয়িত্রী শুভলক্ষ্মী বড়াই Hello students, welcome back for the last session of my class on tenses. Today we are going through the uses of the remaining part of the present tenses that is present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous and the past tenses. So let us now move on to continuous tenses. What is the structure of the continuous tense? There are three continuous tenses. You will recall that You have the present continuous tense, the past continuous tense and the future continuous tense. There are three continuous tenses. The structure of the present continuous tense is am is are plus verb plus ing. So when do we use this tense? Please write down the structure of the present continuous tense. It is am is are plus verb plus ing. When do we use this structure? We use this structure to indicate that an action is taking place in the present time. That means the action has not been completed. It continues to be done uh, even as the sentence is being spoken. So for example, the baby is crying for milk. What does it indicate? It indicates that when you are speaking, the action is taking place. What is the action? The action is crying. Now the baby is crying. And you want to tell someone what the baby is doing at this point of time. So then you have to use the verb in the present continuous tense. The use of present continuous tense indicates that the action is continuing in the present time. This is one use of present continuous tense. Another use of present continuous tense, let me tell you, is when two actions are taking place at the same time. Please write down. The mother is cooking while the baby is sleeping. So two actions are taking place here. What are the two actions? One is, is cooking and the other is, is sleeping. So the mother is cooking while the baby is sleeping. Two actions are taking place and they are taking place even as in the present time. That means even as the speaker is speaking. So to express such a thing also, you have to use the verb in present continuous tense. Now you will remember that when we had done simple present tense, you had written a sentence, my father retires next month. And you will remember that when we had spoken about this sentence, we said that this same meaning can also be expressed by simple future tense. That means it is generally expressed in simple future tense, but it can also be expressed in using the present tense structure if the time is known. Now the time is known, the time is next month. So in a similar case, you can also say, my father is retiring next month. When you know exactly when in future the action is going to take place, that means if the future time of the action is definite or specific, Here in this sentence, it is next month. In that case, you can also use the present continuous tense form of the verb to indicate that the action will be done in future. So we have given you three uh, uses of the present continuous tense. Then let us now go to another continuous tense, which is past continuous tense. For past continuous tense, what is the verb structure? I think you remember that the verb structure is was, were, plus verb in, verb plus ing. This is the verb structure of the past continuous tense. Now, when do you use the past continuous tense? We generally use the past continuous tense to indicate that an action was continuing in some future time. For example, you were listening to the radio yesterday from four o'clock. So if you are asked, what were you doing at four o'clock yesterday? What will you say? I was listening to the radio. So, This action was continuing 
and it was not a completed action. It was continuing from 4 o'clock for a specific time into the future of yesterday, isn't it? That means if someone asks you, what were you doing at 4 o'clock yesterday? So supposing you were continuing an action, for example, you were listening to music at that time. Not exactly at 4, maybe you started before 4 and you were continuing after 4. So since it was a continuing action, but it was done in the past, therefore you have to use the past continuous tense. What will you say? I was listening to the radio at 4 o'clock yesterday. So if you note what is the verb structure, the verb structure is was listening. So what is the use of this verb structure? When you do an action in the past and that action is a continuing action, you have to use the past continuous tense. Now, sometimes it happens that you do two actions in the past. For example, you were listening to the radio and after that your mother came into the room. So please write down the sentence. I was listening to the radio when my mother came into the room. So look at this sentence carefully. Can you underline the tenses in this sentence? There are two verbs in this sentence. One is was listening and the other is came. So was listening, if you note, if you put a bracket to that verb, it is in past continuous tense and bracket the other verb, which is came, that is in simple past tense. Now, let me explain to you another use of the past continuous tense. And that is when two actions take place in the past, the continuing action is indicated using past continuous tense. And the second action, that means the action which took place in the past, but later on for that you have to use the simple past tense so let me again go back to the example i have used i was listening to the radio when my mother came so you will note that there are two actions here you can put a tick mark one action is was listening the other action is came so you will find that was listening this action was taking place before the mother came isn't it so this is the first action first action is was listening and it was a continuing action so when you have a continuing action in the past for the continuing action you have to use past continuous tense and for the action which took place after that you have to use simple past tense so this is another use of the past continuous tense so i will now go to another continuous tense and that is future continuous tense so in future continuous tense, the structure is will be or shall be plus verb plus ing. So if you look at this, you will find that uh, when will you use future continuous tense? Tomorrow I will be singing at this time or I will be doing my homework at this time. For example, if someone asks you tomorrow is a holiday. So at this time, what will you be doing? You have not done it, but what will you be doing at a particular time in future? What action will you continue to do at that time? So if someone asks you, what will you be doing at three o'clock tomorrow? You can answer that at three o'clock tomorrow, I will be doing my homework. So the verb here is will be doing. You can put a bracket. I will be doing. So this action will be doing homework. This doing action has not started as yet. It will start at three o'clock tomorrow and it will continue from three o'clock. It is not a completed action. It will not be completed at three o'clock. It will be continuing. So for something which will continue to take place in the future, you have to use future continuous tense. Now let us move on to the next verb structures, which are the perfect tense structures. Now we will do perfect tense. There are three perfect tenses. What are they? They are present perfect tense, past perfect tense and future perfect tense. Now, what is the structure of present perfect tense? Please write down. It is has or have plus past participle form of the verb, which is generally the, also the simple past form of the verb. And then there is past perfect. What is the structure of past perfect? It is had plus past participle. And what is the future perfect structure? The future perfect structure is will have or shall have plus past participle. So you will find that in all the perfect tenses, you have the have verb as the auxiliary verb and you have the past participle, the main verb in past participle form and together they form the perfect tenses. Now, when do you use the present perfect tense? That means has or have plus past participle. Write down this sentence. The baby has cried for milk or you can write another sentence. I have completed this sum. 
That means you have been asked by your teacher to do a sum and you have completed it just now. So when an action is completed at a recent point of time, you have to use the present perfect tense. Although the action is not continuing at the time of speaking, but it has just been completed at a recent point of time. For that, you have to use present perfect tense. This is one of the uses of present perfect tense. I have completed the sum. What does that mean? It means that I have completed the sum just now or in the recent time. That means not too long ago. So this is one of the use of present perfect tense. Then another use of present perfect tense is an action has continued from the past and is continuing up to the present. When an action takes place in the past and continues up to the present, we generally use present perfect continuous tense. But sometimes you can also use the present perfect to indicate the same meaning. For example, I have lived in Guwahati since 2005. Here the verb is have lived. And the action of living in Guwahati is not a current action. You have continued to live in Guwahati from a past time. So the past point of time is 2005. So when an action takes place in the past and continues up to the present moment, you can also use present perfect tense. So here living in Guwahati, it's an action which began in 2005 and continues in the present time. So this is present perfect. Then let us do future perfect. Please write down this example. The baby will have cried for milk. Now identify the verb. The verb is will have plus past participle of cry, which is cried. Please underline the verb will have cried. Now, when do you use this future perfect tense? We use the future perfect tense to indicate that the action denoted by the verb will be perfected in the future. So the baby will have cried for milk so here the action will be perfected in the future to indicate such meaning you have to use the verb in future perfect tense now the perfect continuous tenses so the perfect continuous tenses there are three one is present perfect continuous there is past perfect continuous and there is future perfect continuous i hope you remember the structures i will not go into it in detail Present perfect continuous is generally used when an action begins in the past and continues up to the present. For example, I have been living in Guwahati since 2005. That means the action of living in Guwahati began in the past, that is in 2005, and continues up to the moment of speaking and will continue. So that is present perfect continuous. Then past perfect continuous. Please write down the sentence. I had been doing my homework when my mother entered the room so it means that the action of doing homework is partially complete or perfect but as it was being continued then the second action of the mother entering the room occurred that means the action of doing the homework in the past was perfected but only partially and continued to be done in the past when the second action took place so I had been doing my homework when my mother came into the room. So it was partially done. And then the second action of the mother coming into the room took place. So when two actions take place and one is partially completed and the second action takes place in that case for the first action, which is partially completed, but is will also continue to be done for such a meaning. You have to use past perfect continuous tense then for the future also future continuous tense let me give you an example the baby will have been crying for milk so here the verb is will have been crying so here too future perfect continuous tense is used to indicate that the action will be partially completed or perfected but will still continue in the future that is the meaning which is indicated by will have been crying that means future perfect continuous tense so thank you very much nobom shreni satra satri hokol aji ingraji byakoronor pathot tumaluke tensor bikhoye hunila tumalokor babe pat jugutai agborhale subhalakshmi boruai aji loi amar samoy hoy ahil tumalokok punor priti aru shubhechha janai ajir onusthan imanote hamorisu